I lost water two weeks ago and my car broke down yesterday. So I think that the universe is preparing me for Alaska early. <laughs> Building a new life from nothing is in the American DNA. Alaska is the last frontier. It's the ultimate place to live the off-grid, mountainous, wilderness lifestyle. Now, following in the footsteps of the frontiersmen, seven people from different walks of life are setting out on a journey of a lifetime. Going out to Alaska. To build a self-sustaining colony. If I can live out here and I can get past all the hardships out here, then I can do anything in life. But with 100 days before the Arctic freeze. You got frost nip on the whole front of my face. They must work together to stockpile essential supplies. The only thing more challenging than surviving the terrain. I'm not gonna lie to you guys right now. Everyone's freaking out. Is surviving each other. I can't trust you. So I'm on house arrest. Seven people. It's just getting brutal. 100 days, one goal. Winter's gonna come, whether we're ready or not. Deep within Alaska's boreal forest, 200 miles from civilization, lies the untamed Tanana Valley. Cut off from the world, the colony founders, Andrew and Jennifer, await the group's new arrivals. So, are you looking forward to having help this year? Yes. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> It'll be nice to have some extra hands. We've had people come out in the past with the goal of joining the community that didn't work out. They weren't prepared in any way. They couldn't handle the cold. I hope that this time we do have the right people. Howdy, how's it going? Hi. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Evan. I'm Christine. Nice to meet you. Are you excited? Heck yeah, I've, I've been waiting for this day for, for a while yeah. now. Yeah. Let's get loaded here and um, get going. I work at a outdoor store, selling people their, their dreams while I'm not being able to live out my own dream. So what I can bring to this community is one, I'm an Eagle Scout, so I'm kind of well-rounded in a little bit of everything. lived in Alaska before. There's nothing that's in my life so far that's pushed my boundaries as hard as I know this will push my boundaries. New recruits Evan and Christine are heading to base camp. Evan. Hello, Evan. Nice How are you? Nice to meet you. Well, Oliver just showed up. I left home to be a mountain man at 14 years old. So I've been living off grid for the past 25 plus something years. My place, and that's the inside. I live in a dugout, a place I built by myself. I don't like getting bills. I don't like having an address. I don't like having anything that I'm tied to. The goal of the community is to have a series of camps along the river valley that we can easily travel back and forth with so we don't use up the resources in any one area. So we need four winter shelters, one moose, one bear, and 300 salmon. The core challenge for the survival of the colony is to store up enough food to carry them through the barren months of Alaskan winter while also sustaining their daily food needs. Evan and Oliver are on a crucial hunt for the colony. I've been hunting all day and I haven't seen literally any moose. So that's kind of demoralizing to not see anything literally. Moose are notoriously hard to hunt. With ears 60 times larger than the size of humans and a heightened sense of smell, they have the ability to detect another animal or human up to two miles away. Moose hunting is new to me and I didn't see any moose. But I did see lots of beaver, which I thought, you know, I, I am a beaver trapper. You know, this is one of the best places I've ever seen for beaver trapping. Yeah. What I want to pack up, I would like to be able to pack up with, uh, you know, some beaver meat or whatever to send back. I mean, I was thinking about staying. We told Andrew we'd be back in three days. Like, I can't even believe if he wants to leave three days. Well, in three days, we come back. No, it doesn't work. That doesn't work because I'm not going back empty-headed. And I knew where to draw my line, and I knew I needed to 
not only return to camp to boost my morale, but re-prep in case I needed to go out again. So I was, I was set on the decision, you know, stick to the plan and get out of there. Not having enough food is probably the best way for any community to implode. <laughs> If you don't have enough food, you're going to be in, in literally a survival scenario, and then everybody's going to start trying to like fend for themselves and and you know make make decisions to feed themselves. Evan, he's the exact opposite of me. He's got a ton of expensive gear, but it doesn't have anything to do with like how much gear you have to get you through this. To, to come out here and do this, it really has to be a passion to want to do it. Something down deep inside of you. 荒野一百天，十二月十二日星期六，就在 Discovery 频道首播。